Alright guys, today I'm doing a GPU replacement on a Falcon motherboard. So what you're going to need replacement GPU and I'm using inset flux soldering brain leaded solder king bow flux to reattach the new GPU a vacuum pen, I'm going to be using it on my 968. A soldering iron with a blade tip. And my Achi IR Pro V3 with my new probe. Alright, so let's get started. I already have my flux in a syringe works a lot easier for me. I have the GPU all masked off with tape around. I'll just try and get a good angle at it. Don't need a lot on there. Is I'm sure it's wet everywhere. All right, nothing looks good. So what I usually do after is I take a Q-tip, just kind of clean up around the edges. That's it. So I already have mine lined up here properly. middle. I always check with my ruler to make sure it's where I want it. Three centimeters. That's what works for me. Bring it over here. Slide that out of the way for a second. Line up my probe. I'll show you where I got placement of my probe. It's right on the edge of the chip. I'm going to do this with a broken tripod. It's close to touching the chip, but not quite. I know I got a little flux on top of the chip there, but I'm taking it off so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I already got it on my profile number one for lead free solder. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to get my soldering braid. I learned a little trick off Furzy's video. Basically, what he did was just cut little pieces of the braid. So I'll cut three of them, maybe even four.
So I've got four pieces there, which makes it extremely easier to clean up the solder after you're done. Alright, so I've got a better camera angle. My alarm's about to go off in about 30 seconds or so. I already got my soldering iron heated up to 450 degrees. Got my vacuum pen ready. Nice clean lift. So what I'll do now is I'll add some flux. Then I'll take the little piece of soldering brake, shoot it on there, and just splash it around. Actually, what I forgot to do was clean it up with some lead-free solder. Not used to recording a video at the same time as I'm working. There we go, that's good. Just gonna shoot that off to the side. Now you want to shoot your solder and bring it on. Not right, that's good. So now we'll just let that cool down a little bit before we take off the, the flux that's on there. Alright, so it's cooled back down to room temperature. I'm going to be using the 99% IPA to clean up. And I'll just put it on a paper towel. And
So that feels nice and smooth. Can't feel any bumps in there. That's what you're aiming for. Get the King Bolt flux out. Don't need a lot of that. I can show you what I'm going to be using. I really want to just zoom in. Alright, so it's just the tip of my brush. It might even be a little bit too much. You just want a nice thin layer for the solder balls to grab onto. There you go, that's good, and I still have some left over on my brush. So, you can see how much you need. It's not a lot. Now I'll be adding some onto the GPU. This is the replacement. I've already did a gnome test, and it reads 2.2, so I know it's good. So, go figure my phone rings. Call the wife later. Okay, so to line this up, you got that lone. lonely ball here on the top corner. That goes on the far top side. Okay, so that's all set up. All you want is to be able to see the white lines on the outside of the GPU all the way around. Shadow is kind of hiding it there. So next, I change this to number three for my leaded profile, and the bottom planes are down the room temp. So I'm going to put the fan back on until they're fully cooled and then I'll run my profile. Alright, so I got it back down to room temperature. I got my probe in place. I got it switched over to profile 3 which is my leaded. Now, all I gotta do is push the action button and let it do its thing. And that's it. That's all you have to do for a GPU replacement. Thanks a lot.